That's all muscle. Oh. You fat. I'm muscle. Oh, look at my little bill. He's a little Hercules. Show me muscle again. Oh, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. What's Hercules. working? What in the world is going on up in here? Xbox actually got approved to buy Activision Blizzard. I'm so confused now. What's up, guys? It's your boy Hercules, and well, as you guys can see, I'm confused because I just don't understand. So, I mean, at the same time, I really don't care. Call of Duty, as much money as it makes, it's still the same broken game as always. I stopped playing since I believe it was Black Ops 2. That's the last time I stopped playing it. Um, I think I did play uh, Events Warfare, but it was only with my nephew because he was really into it. And yeah, I mean, I, I was still good at it, but I was just like, yeah, I'm done with this franchise. But yes, yeah, so it looks like the EU regulators or commission um, has actually uh, approved the Activision deal for Xbox. Um, now, this is the funny thing. So uh, you had some of the ponies, the Jim Bryans and the PlayStation um, arguing that basically Call of Duty. That's what PlayStation was arguing. PlayStation want, didn't want Call of Duty just for Xbox. And I can see the reason why. Because when Xbox had the the rights to uh, Call of Duty, guess what? That was in the 360 era. They were selling the Xbox 360 like hotcakes. Then PlayStation started climbing. And even though Xbox had that deal with Call of Duty, they couldn't do anything about it. They just couldn't do anything about it. Then... Activision, Blizzard, whatever, cut ties with Xbox as a, I guess you can say, as a first party exclusive, whatever. And when they moved to PlayStation, PlayStation became the home of Call of Duty. Everybody to this day mostly plays Call of Duty on PlayStation. Now, I'm not saying people don't play on PC or uh, Xbox, but it was kind of the name brand that if you were gonna play Call of Duty, you most likely had a PlayStation, or at least that was the the model of it. At least, at least that's what the marketing was pushed at. PlayStation, get it here first, Call of Duty, whatever, okay? So, then the CMA, uh, I guess, rejected the deal. Now the EU approved the deal, but with one caveat. So it looks like e the EU had the same uh, reason why they wouldn't maybe approve it was because of cloud gaming, which the CMA uh, rejected it, which also makes sense. If you really think about it, now I get it. Some of you are going to be like, well, cloud gaming isn't really it to the par where it should be. Xbox doesn't have a advantage on it. They kind of do. They kind of do. I believe Phil uh, Spencer even said that their numbers were out of this world with their cloud gaming. Now, is cloud gaming to the point where you wouldn't need a disk drive or you wouldn't need any physical media? No, it's still not to that point, but it's getting there. And Xbox has been moving to that platform. The more, the more they continue to basically ignore physical stuff. Because we all know Xbox only main source of even relevance in this company, in this industry of gaming is Game Pass, which guess what? It's a live streaming service like Netflix, Disney Plus, HBO Max. It's just that. So guess what? It's 
cloud gaming too. Now it's a little bit different, but it's still the same thing. And eventually you could go into cloud gaming because cloud gaming, I think it's more of a, like you can allow more people to play stuff like that, which I believe Xbox is also pushing that, that, um, but I don't know. I, I really don't focus too much on the whole live service bullshit. Cause to me, that's not, that's not my cup of tea, but so yeah, so it looks like the EU approved it under a couple conditions. And one of the, those conditions was, uh, basically saying that Xbox 10 had the deal as long as they have someone which I believe it's either from the EU, the UK regulars, whatever, the CMA, um, controlling the cloud gaming, looking at it, making sure making sure the pricing is right, it's not too uh, one-sided. And basically, if they have something like that, then they're okay with the deal. And I guess the CMA kind of had a, uh, I guess, a comeback to that, saying that, them approving the deal made no sense. It's a disgrace, blah, 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 blah. At the end of the day, I'm still looking at it like, okay, so they one place didn't approve it, but another place approves it. Now people are running it that it's approved. So I'm confused. So if the CMA doesn't matter that much, if they disapprove, but it matters that the EU approves it, then it's approved. I, like I'm confused. I I need to know more of this because either way, to me, Xbox does need Call of Duty. To be very honest, let's be very honest. Xbox needs Activision Blizzard. Will Xbox improve Activision Blizzard? Hell no, dude. They can't even improve freaking Arcane. They can't even improve Bethesda. They can't even improve any of the companies they bought. So what tells you that they're going to be able to improve Activision Blizzard? Come on, guys. Don't be fucking dumbasses out there. Let's just keep it 100. Xbox needs Call of Duty to so it looks like they are doing something right, but we've all known that every Call of Duty game that comes out is the copy and paste same game. They'll change a little things here and there. But it's mostly the same thing. It's mostly broken. It's mostly have bugs in it. But it's still the same thing. It's just a game that draws in a lot of streamers, a lot of a lot of gamers that will always be willing to pay this. It's to me, Call of Duty has become your sports games. They change just enough that it looks like it's a different game, but at the end of the day, it's still the same game. And guess what? They make millions of dollars from the NBA, the Madden, the Tiger Woods, the soccer, whatever. And guess what? Call of Duty does the exact same thing. I'll leave it at that. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.